All right, welcome everyone to episode two of Discord SMP. As you can see, there has been quite a lot of changes. So if we take a quick look around at what's changed, um, this all happened overnight. So I went to bed and now this is the next day. And here we have RJM spot. So in case you're wondering who some of the other members were currently, uh, this is RJM. And we also have over here, uh, I believe this is Satera. Yes, Ceteras, don't take. Sounds good. I will not. <laughs> All right, and then over here, I do not know whose this is. It's just a massive stone pillar. Like, I just have no idea, but I'm sure it's going to turn into something pretty cool. Um, and over here, it looks like we have Klassen's Plot. Looks very similar to the thing that he built here for the community. So, uh, is that everything that has changed? I believe so. Yes, I think AT Grey has made himself a farm. I don't know if we saw that in the last episode, but yeah, this one is uh, please do not take crops. So this is not a community farm, so I will not be taking crops from there. Sounds good. Looks like he was making carrots or something. I don't know. All right, let's go back over to our plot because I've also done a little bit of work since the last time. I went mining a little bit more, so we have more tin and more iron and more coal. I also went exploring and found some berry bushes and... Uh, seeds of different sorts and here's just our blocks chest we have a bit more stone and things that i got while i was exploring and collecting materials so i think the first course of action for this episode is to put a little bit of stuff together that isn't the community things what i mean by that is these factories here uh, we have all of these but it seems like people are starting to make their own collections like satara's over there and at gray has his own over there so i think it's about time that i started doing the same and made my own factories. I think they're called factories. So what does that entail? First we need a couple aether benches. It's going to be any raw wood and any raw stone. Let's see what we have already. Okay so we have a lot of stone but very little wood. So yes our axe still has some durability left. So let's go use it to chop down some more wood. Definitely should have brought some food with me. That would have been smart. Also, something I noticed before is that these two brown mushrooms aren't stacking, and I have no idea why, but whatever. <laughs> okay, we have almost 200 wood. That should be good for now. According to right here, I can make uh, 19 aether benches. We're, d we're definitely not going to make that many, but we'll probably need wood for some of the other recipes as well. Oh, and look, we get this nice little border. I could have used that in the first episode. I am smart. I am very, very smart. Anyway, let's put a couple of these down. I'd say we need at least two aether benches to start off. That's probably a good number. Uh, what is the next one? We also want stone cutteries, which need cords. So we should have some plant fiber. Yes, there we go. And stone, we can turn all of this into cords. Look at those amazing particles. That is so cool. All right, now that we have these cords, we can make two stone cutteries. We can just put them right here for now. Um, I'm definitely going to make an actual base, don't worry. And these factories will all be put inside of it. But just for now, uh, it'll be easier to keep them outside before I've made the base. Um, we need tool heads for the wood cutteries. Okay, so that would be in here. Go to stone tool heads. Let's split the stack again and split it between the two stone cutteries. This is really cool too. You can see like the uh, stone dust or smoke coming off of the cuttery. Very, very cool. There we go. So now we can make two of these as well. One, two. It's pretty cool because everything seems to be themed after dark wood, except for the stone cutteries, but that's probably because they didn't need wood in their recipe. Is that right? Yeah, just stone and cords. So there's no wood customization we can do for that. The ore furnace, we need 20 stone bricks. So that's going to take a while. What is that? 20 times 4, so we need 80. We can split the stack. Oh, nope. Not stone tool heads. Stone bricks. There we go. And again, stone bricks. It might be worth having more than two stone cutters, actually, because I have a feeling I'm going to use br bricks a lot in the future. So let's get ourselves a couple more of these. There we go. Four should do. Okay, we have enough for our first ore furnace. We can pop that down right here. And I think four is a, probably a pretty good number for this. I don't know if we have enough stone for it. Ore furnace number two. 
number three, and number four. The next one we want to make is, I would say a tool head cast is a pretty good one. We probably don't need many of these because, well, I don't know. I feel like we won't be making tool heads very often, but let's just make two of them to be safe. A one and a two, there we go. What's next? Glass furnace. I would say we should have at least one glass furnace. We might need more later if we have a lot of glass, but right now, well, I don't see much sand around here, so I probably won't be incorporating too much glass into our first few builds, but we will make one of them at least, just so we have the opportunity. One glass furnace coming right up. There we go. What's next? Uh, iron anvil. We should probably make one of those, but I'd say for now we can just use the community one because it's quite expensive. And we should focus on getting iron tools before that. Uh, the juicer, uh, berries go in, juice comes out. I feel like we don't need this quite yet. The mill, maybe. That's pretty cheap. I, th I think I'll make a mill because of how cheap it is. One mill, we can place it right there for now. Next is watering system, I say is not that important. We probably want an oven and maybe a kiln. Probably not a paint mixer just yet. I might want to use it for painted wood later, but we don't have very many berries to use for dye yet. Uh, we do want a bonfire, but do we want a metal bonfire? What is the difference? I do not know the difference. I feel like I should know the difference. It's been out a while, but I haven't actually made them in Lost Frontier. Uh, so let's quickly check it out. We need stone and iron, was it, for the metal one? There we go, metal bonfire. A slowly burned lump of coal. Okay, so this is just what, like a little bit faster than the one over here? Because this is a regular bonfire, and that is a metal bonfire, so I assume it's just a little bit faster. That would be my guess. Let's see if it is correct. So let's pop 28 in there. Okay, well, that is still very, very slow. So maybe it's not that, uh, but it does look cool. So that's a, that's a plus, I guess. Kiln, paint mixer, da, da 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 This helps me make bricks, I think. This is really cheap, so I may as well make, I'll make two of them. A one and a two, there we go. Campfire, I should make you two, I suppose. I can make four of you. Now, is that everything? Uh, oven. Oven requires bronze and stone bricks. Well, we can grab our stone bricks from here, of which we have a little bit more, and then we should have a bronze ingot or something similar. We do, okay, so we can make that oven, perfect. All right, this is a pretty good selection of random factories, I guess. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to move these into our house whenever we decide to build it. But I'd say that's a success right there, and I am out of energy, so I need to go and heal up for a second. Yay, we're back to full energy. Okay, so if we hold a something or rather, let's see. If we hold an aether bench, this is the world border, and we can expand it by 40 blocks with one more upgrade. And 40 blocks is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Okay, about here. We should be able to expand all the way to here. That's one boundary, that's the other, that's where our stuff is now. I'd say we have enough room to make a pretty nice little thing up here on the hill. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but we'll find out. So the first thing to do when coming up with a base design, at least the first thing I like to do, is to pick a color palette of some sort. I generally like dark wood, but yeah, we got to figure out a color palette to start with and then collect a ton of those blocks. One of my favorite combinations is stone and stone bricks. If you put these here in our inventory, you've probably seen them used in quite a few builds in the past. You get this cool textured surface of bricks and stone. And I would love to, you. oh, I just broke my tool. Um, I guess we make another one, but I think it's probably time to upgrade to iron. Here, eight, so we do have enough I believe, for an iron tool head. If we pop that in our tool head cast. I know I was talking about my base and immediately got sidetracked because my tool broke, but I do need a pickaxe to make a base and to collect items. So we'll need to make one. There seems to be a little bit of a visual glitch with this, but I know that it is being worked on. Please don't be common. 
It's common. Oh, 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 oh. Rare. Rare iron pickaxe. Okay. 10% less energy usage, 5% durability, 5% speed, 131% whatever. I don't know. Looks good to me. I will equip that for sure. A rare iron pickaxe. Nice. Okay, let's put this uh, bronze tool away. I don't know if we're ever going to use it again, and this is totally not the right chest that I'm supposed to be putting this in, but yeah, sounds good. Well, now that we have an iron pickaxe, we can probably collect materials a lot faster. I say we go, I'll bring a lot of food with me, and I say we go mining a little bit. I'll also want to bring some wood so I can have some torches. Now, if this was a single player world, I'd dig a hole down right here and start mining. But I have noticed a couple things around here, such as this tunnel. Um, but I don't know if we're all supposed to go down there. I'm sure other people went down there and yeah, I don't know. I think, I think essentially a lot of places around here have been mined, such as if you go into A.T. Gray's place, he has mine here as well. So I'm sure a lot of the veins that a dowser would pick up on are already taken in this area. So it might be worth us going up this hill a little bit and then starting our mine. Let's go ahead and start our mine somewhere right around here, maybe. People might have already taken everything there is to take around here, but I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's not too bad. Getting back up here though, that is something I did not think about. I really like that water idea. So can we make a bucket real quick? Grab some water from the stream. Wait. You, oh, that's new. You have to hold down to collect water. That is a new feature, or at least a feature that has been added since the last time I played, but I think it's pretty cool. Is that going to go? Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I think I need to make a second bucket in order to do this quickly. All right. Two wood buckets. Now, hopefully if we place these quick enough, we should be able to get an infinite just like that. Perfect. Or, okay. Maybe I did it slightly wrong. But yeah, now we'll have a waterfall that won't evaporate, and it should go all the way down. Now, what level is Emberillium found at? Let's check that real quick. A depth of 160 blocks or deeper. If we press F3 here, we are at height 236. So if we go back up to the surface, this is height 288. That means we need to go down to 120. Okay, we are down at 120, so we are getting pretty close. At some point, I think I need to branch off to the side, like this direction. Or no, that is towards AT Grace. Maybe I'll go this direction. Our inventory is full and our energy is completely diminished, or at least now it's completely diminished. So we need to go back up. Okay, note to self, save a little bit of energy so we can get back up, because this is a little slow. <laughs> this actually reminds me of another thing we should probably do, which is to make an energy well right here so I can easily stock back up again. Now, how do you make one of those? Oh, it's really cheap. It's just a hundred stone. Cool. Place that right there. Oh, wait, yeah, we're not in the settlement yet. Let's, we have to put this back at, oh, and I'm out of energy. <laughs> Classic, okay. Well, we can at least put it back with our other chests and things that are inside the settlement. And perfect, okay, we can go break this again. Now, we are out of food. I think, do we have any more in our chests? Okay, yeah, we have no more mushrooms in our chests, so I am going to harvest these again and put them back down. So I'll catch you in a second. Now this is actually something that Klassen showed. We can just fill up these blueprints that are sitting here with the seeds that we have collected and they'll automatically repurpose them again. So as long as you place them down so there's some red, as in they can't place all of what they want to place, they'll get stuck here with excess 
uh, seeds. So if we don't break these blueprints and we just place them down like this, the next time we go around collecting stuff, it'll automatically start placing the seeds behind us. And again, some aren't stacking. That is a little bit confusing. They're both brown mushrooms and consumable for the same amount, so I do not know why that is the case, but it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and put some of these behind. Uh, we should keep the dark wood, put the dirt away, put the vanium away and the buckets, and let's go back and continue to mine. Actually, I've just remembered something. So the dowsers light up with the correct color if the thing they're looking at is the right thing. That didn't make much sense, but they will always show you to the nearest veins, but those veins may or may not be the type you're looking for. And since I'm just looking for a generic vein, I should be able to use any dowser to help me find Emberillium. Simple dowser? No, we want the advanced dowser. Two cords, two rods, and one ore. Iron Advanced Dowser coming up. All right, let's see if this shows us anything. Seems to be small. Oh, I saw a little blimp of, there we go. Looks like right in this direction. Oh, there it is, Vanium. Okay, now please be an Emberillium one. No, not copper. Why is there a cop, hmm. Why is there a copper vein this slow down? That is annoying. <laughs> I don't need copper. There seems to be another one down here. We've reached the vanium once again. Are you gonna be emberillium? Ooh, it looks like Klassen has joined. Hello. <laughs> Where is this vein going? It's so confusing. No, it's copper again. Are you joking. I am at the right height, right? I'm pretty sure I am. Ooh, we found another vanium patch. Please don't be copper again. <laughs> I will be very, very sad. Yes, we found it. Emberillium ore. There we go. Finally. Okay, let's see how many we can get out of this vein. No, it's copper. What? Please don't tell me this is turning into a copper vein. Oh no, we've got emberillium back again. Okay. So it seems to be a shared vein of some sort, but our pick is getting quite low. So we might not be able to collect enough Embryllium before it breaks. And we got iron too? Okay, this vein of Vanium has iron, copper, and Embryllium. That is very interesting. Yeah, okay, we're down to 1%. Let's go take this back to repair it in the anvil. Taking us up to 37%. So we might have to use, what's that, 36%? Okay, so it seems a little bit more efficient to use iron to repair the tool, um, but it's very, very, very similar. Let's take it and put it back and repair it once again, because I have a feeling that we might have to use it for a while. Oh, we hit Vanium directly. Look at that. Wonder what vein type this is. Please be Emberillium. I would appreciate it very much. Oh yes, we found some Emberillium ore. Perfect. I could be wrong, but I think we need 12 ingots of emberillium, which means we would need 120 ores. Copper? Please stop giving me copper. Oh my goodness. I do not need copper. Yep, this seems to have just turned into a copper one. I forgot my name has joined the channel. We found gold. That is not what I want. I want emberillium. That is so sad. All right, sweet. I forgot my name just did a trade with me. He gave me his common Emberillium picks with 88% left. Picks. Did I just say picks? I meant pickaxe. And I gave him, uh, what is it? Uh, two or three berry seeds that I had found while exploring, as well as eight pieces of coal. So thank you very much. It's just a borrow though, so I'll need to return it to him after I use it. But this means I should be able to go collect that coal, or sorry, gold, that I had found uh, just now, so that's pretty cool. That's very nice of him because, <laughs> yeah, I have 14 right now and that took a long time to just find those 14. So, which direction was it? Was it this way? Yes, it was. Gold, perfect. Now, I really hope there's a lot of gold in here. Okay, so according to I Forgot My Name, I need 120 gold for the tool head of a bright steel pickaxe, which would be the next stage.
Okay, I think I've finished all the gold from that one. I ended up getting 81. Ooh, we've hit a vein. Is it going to be gold? It is gold, yes! Okay. Hopefully we can get enough gold to make a bright steel pick. Oh, cobalt. We can come back to this cobalt later, but does that mean there's no more gold? Okay, I think there's no more gold here, which is unfortunate because we have 110. We are 10 or 20 away from it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot my name is right over there. Please don't find my vein because I found cobalt over here and I want to keep the cobalt all to myself. Oh, there's more gold. Yes, okay, okay. Please, we're so close. 120, okay, we have enough for a bright steel pick. Now, will we have enough for a bright steel haft as well? Oh, we're so close, come on. Yes, there's another one. Okay, 123. We're getting there. Oh, I see another piece of gold. Let me get up there. Come on. 128. Yes, there it is. There it is. 130. Haha. <laughs> okay, now that we have the gold, we need to smelt it into ingots. Ingots. I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, and while that is smelting, we can go ahead and return this pickaxe to... I forgot my name's chests. Yeah, forgot's chests. Perfect. Okay, we can put that right in there. Now that we have 13 gold and over 13 iron, we can combine these together into bright steel. Oh, and we have some tin there too. Cool. <laughs> One bright steel pickaxe. Here we come. 5,984. That is definitely a lot more durability than the other ones. Please don't be common. Last time we got a rare iron one, so... Oh, it is common. So sad. <laughs> okay, with this bright steel pickaxe, I'll go back down and see if I can find that cobalt. I have no idea where it is, but we will find it. I hope. Right here. And there we go. Cobalt. Ayo. <laughs> okay, so once we finish mining out this vein, we can take this cobalt back and make up a dowser. Yeah, a dowser. Oh, there's a lot of cobalt here. My goodness. We're already at 76, wow. Okay, looks like we need 240 cobalt, which I'm not sure if we're gonna get from this one vein, but we're already at 104, which is really good. This vein is amazing. I think there were actually two crisscrossing veins and both were cobalt. If we get all the way up to 240, that would be crazy. Oh, and we found mithril too, okay. So we can't collect that just yet. But that means it won't be too difficult for us to uh, collect this in order to get the dowser for mithril. Oh, we've reached a hole. This is a cape. Oh, we got to be careful. Let's make a little platform for us. And yeah, we have a torch. Okay, we need to light this place up a little bit. Now, there it is, but how do we get down there safely? Yes, we can reach right there. So we can make that platform, hop down. This is so cool. How can I get over there? Okay, I can reach right there. That'll be good enough. No, duber heart, it's too low. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness, that is, that is very sad. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to save that for later. It's really funny how I can place blocks, but I can't break blocks. Okay, let's get out of here. That is so sad. All right, it's been a while since the last clip. A couple days, a lot has changed, but something I have been working on is a design for our first base. But I'll need a lot of resources for that, and A.T. Gray has kindly let me know that he has some, so I'm following him into this base. I assume this is his storage here. Oh, wow, yeah, he has a lot. I need a thousand of a couple different types of blocks. Uh, looks like he has tons of bricks and things. Hopefully we can set up a bit of a trade though, uh, rather than me just taking it. Okay, <laughs> AT Gray said I can work on my build and repay later. That is very, very kind of him. All right, so what has changed in this time while I've been coming up with a design for things? Well, there is a lot of new bases and people are starting to put their houses together. That stone pillar earlier in the episode actually turned into something incredible. This is really, really cool looking. Um, so yeah, we, we are losing real estate quite quickly. There is um, over here, someone's building some things too. So I've quickly blocked off a little bit of an area. It's not massive, but the build that will be able to fit here should be pretty cool looking. But the main thing for it is going to be collecting resources. And I think I am going to start doing that in the next episode because this one is already pretty long. 
I've now laid out different chests for each of the different materials that we need for this build. So we need about 1,000 stone, 1,000 dirt, 500 stone bricks, 200 sand, 300 wood, 1,200 light wood, and 1,000 red wood. And this right here is the approximate boundary that the house will take up. I built it in my test world, which does not have a sloping terrain. So it would be interesting to see uh, how this affects it. We might have to terraform a little bit to make the house fit in well. Um, so next episode, I will collect these resources or borrow a lot of them from AT Gray probably, and then get started on building this house. I'm very, very excited. I think it'll look really cool. And I think it'll fit in really well with all of the surrounding area that we have going on. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.